So now I have the Blendor actuator connected with the orange wire on pin 1 and the black wire on pin 2. And there's that same orientation on the connector. So we're going to see if we can actually get this thing to rotate. Um, what I've done is I've got a common USB 5 volt adapter, 12 volt to 5 volt, and then I have a um, power cable that comes off of that. And it just basically is this is 5 volts here, this is uh, positive, and this is 5 volt positive, and this is negative. So what I want to do is see if I can actuate this door by touching the ground um, up to this and you can see I'm able to mix change the door and I'm gonna you don't want to overdrive it too far that's the problem so what I'm going to do is drive it to where the pin is roughly about right there and that is where I can assemble it to the uh, and actually install it I'm going to put it about in the middle which is about there so we know now that that this is actually this thing actually runs there's other pins here but um, there's some other tests that that you that you can uh, go through and see oh, the full test. I did another video, but this is uh, how you actually move the actuator to get it into installation position again. So now let's see how we can drive it the other way. As you can see, I've now hooked the orange wire here to black the power supply. The orange wire is pin 1 but it's hooked to black now. And I'm going to hook this this black wire here over to red and we'll see if we can move it the other way. And it's moving the other way. So all you have to do is re reverse polarity and you can move it the other way. So hypothetically, if you had a problem with the Blendor actuator and the actuator worked, you could manually make a change in the actuator. Um, basically by moving this around. If you were to dis disconnect the plug, then you could just move it.